Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Cheers. <laughs> welcome back to the What Are the Chances podcast. Bow, bow, bow. I'm Sarah. I'm Hannah. And today we have a very fun episode for you guys. <laughs> um, we're going to be playing a little game. So our thought process with this podcast was to kind of switch it up uh, every other week. Yeah. So we're going to go jumping back and forth through esthetician, industry related things to just fun things about our lives, random things, anything we want to talk about yeah. that day. We have gotten so much good feedback. Like, that doesn't make sense. I, no, it's crazy. <laughs> I, I, the fact that half the episode last week, um, the mics just cut out. Um, thank you all for watching. Everyone was like, everyone who's saying, not an SC, like, where they were like, well, um, I didn't know what you guys were talking about, but I was entertained. I'm yeah, like, they were like, oh, we loved it. All right. Yeah. Slay. So thank you guys for we, listening. Yeah. We'll start with that. Thank you but so much. But now this is for the girls and the gays. Yeah, this for this is for, <laughs> this is for the fun, and the respect- fun Please, Please. everyone who's known us in high school, log click out. Off. Click off. <laughs> log right now. Okay, so <laughs> that goes into what this episode is going to be about. We're going to be asking each other questions about our high school lives. <laughs> and we're going to be writing down the answers on whiteboards so we can surprise each other. So this might be an episode you want to watch on YouTube. Yeah, um, true, true. But we are going to narrate everything for you if yeah. you're on Spotify listening. Yeah. But so we're going to write down our answers. We have some <laughs> funny questions this about so funny. our experiences, our memories yeah. in high school. It's so. really funny because like we don't know each other no, in no. high school. I couldn't. Yeah. I don't know what's about to come out of her mouth. I like, just know that I would have been like scared of you in high school <laughs> or something. I, <laughs> <laughs> I honestly would have been. I think I you would have hated me in high school. I think you would have hated Because I was just like me and my specifically my friend Courtney. She's going to love this podcast. We yeah. were just little gremlins running around. Oh, I was possessed. I, I literally <laughs> respectfully apologize to anyone who knew me in high school. Yeah. I mean, I like to think I was nice for the most part. No, I didn't give a fuck about anyone or anything. Oh. Yeah. I was like... No, I was like that in the same breath. Yeah. So I think we either I mean, I think I was nice too. we would have hated yeah. each other. I know. I can't tell. I don't know. No, I think you would have hated me. I think you would Like, I was, like, too. annoying as fuck, I think. But I was, yeah. but, like, in the best way. I think you would have respected it, honestly. No, I think we would have been friends. Yeah. Let's say that. We'll say, we'll say we're going to be friends. Okay. Let's get started with our game. So, okay. Hannah's going to read the questions. Bear with us, because we're going to be writing and holding these mics. And <laughs> she's going to get the questions up. And we're also going to go into, like, little story times. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be very chaotic. Stay honestly, before we start, who do you think... Out of your friends that were your friends in high school, like who do you think needs to listen to this podcast? All of them. I'm still. We, I still have a big girls group from high yeah. school, and all of them need to listen. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. Yeah. Like I wish. Like oh my god, we were saying like we have to have her friend Sam on here. Yeah. And we have to have Courtney. We have to fly yeah. her in from Florida because yes. Courtney would slay. We had similar friends. Like, yeah. We were very like I agree. funny, wild. Yeah. All over the place. Annoying as fuck. Scary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, All right. Let's so first started. question. What age did you have your first alcoholic drink? <laughs> I'm like two. This one's for literally. It I might as well know. be two. No, like I, mine's going to shock you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how old I was at this time. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to put the grade. Same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh, there goes the cat. All right, ready? One, yep. two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty close. Yeah, mine was. Uh, <laughs> Sarah's, yeah. This is going to shock you. Mine is preschool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I so, thought mine was going to shock you because it's like kind of old. Uh, no, <laughs> like I, freshman year, I feel like. I think that's good. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think that's good. Okay, so um, mine says for everyone listening, I was 14 and it was eighth grade summer going into high school when I had my first drink. Yeah. Hannah. Mine is freshman year. And honestly, I don't remember if this might like was my first alcoholic drink ever, but this was the first time I've ever gotten drunk, threw up, and got hungover. Okay, so this is not that for me. Yeah, but for me, that's freshman year, New Year's Eve. Yeah. And we'll do it. With I just don't remember anything okay. before this. So it could okay. be my first time. I don't remember. <laughs> blacked out. I blacked out. Okay. I no, still yeah. Am. We'll go into that another episode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So what was your first drink? Do you remember? Um Swedish Swedish fish oh, pinnacle. And uh-huh. it was awful. Yeah. And Oh, pinnacle whipped. Disgusting. Mm. And my throw up was red. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mine was, I'm pretty sure, 
It was at Beach Blast for anyone <gasps> who knows. I loved Beach loved Blast. We would have been friends. friends. No, we would have. We would have. My friends and I used to go play Beach Blast and get drunk. None of us were soccer players. That's so except funny. Except for like one of us. Yeah. And these teams were like in it for yeah. like the win and we I were was like, like the in it for the win giggling. team like I played oh no we were like, giggling our waters on the sideline were alcohol like <laughs> we it was fun but I think it was in Wildwood how old were you oh yeah four, 14 <laughs> <laughs> we did that for a couple years but I think it was in Wildwood um at Beach Blast I we would just drink wine coolers yeah like yeah. um Mike's hard did your parents know that this was happening Hell no. oh no who oh paid gosh. for this like you have to pay for the league my other friend's parents <laughs> Or um, not my older siblings, but uh, other yeah. friends' older yeah. siblings. And you were just like, I'm going to the shore for the oh, weekend. I was a delinquent. Oh, my God. My parents probably... Are, my parents click out. They're not going to know anything that's honestly. occurring. They um, don't need to know. They don't need Did to know. Did you erase it already? No, oh. I didn't. Okay. Wait, I do have little erasers, though. Let's see. Shut the fuck up. Is she kidding me with these erasers? They're so cute. Amazon. Wait, which side? Oh. The fuzzy side. <laughs> All right, we're oh. oh, she's not working. Wait, what? Is this permanent marker? <laughs> Wait, is it permanent? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait. Wait, did we write on the wrong side? Do whiteboards need to be primed? Does anyone know? <laughs> um, they're not erasing. I know what it is. It's a it's not a it's not a dry erase marker. It's a wet erase marker. So it has to be, look. Oh. Wet paper towel. <sighs> question number two. Oops. We don't need that. All right, next question. Actually, that's so crazy. Courtney just sexed me. She wow. like had like she senses. Knew. All right. Second question. What was the worst thing you got caught doing by your parents? <laughs> so wait, I actually have a um, notes in my, in my note because I'm just, I have no brain cells. I... So I'm going to preface mine with caught. There was a lot of things that I did that I was not caught for. Same, honestly. So this one is weak in comparison to the things <laughs> I wasn't caught for. Wait, that's crazy because this is like the opposite. I would get caught with like the stupidest shit. This is something that I actually wasn't caught for, but okay. I had to write it because it's the worst <laughs> thing I've ever done. And I have, I was still to this day, I sit here to this day and my mom still doesn't know. Well, now she knows, but know it's fine. But I had to say this one because it's, I'm, I'm gooped and gagged that I wasn't caught. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. What's your say? Oh, I've done that a yeah, lot of times. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, yeah. Sleeping. Okay. So for everyone listening, mine says sleeping at my boyfriend's house when I wasn't allowed to. Mine is skipping class. Yeah. So um, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> this is how you know I was too young yeah. to be I moving did. around, bopping around town. I did this too, though. So I was not allowed to sleep at any of my significant other's houses. Like that was a strict rule. They mm -hmm. were not allowed to sleep at my house. Yep. Um, so anytime I would want to sleep there, which was a lot, this is my ex, um, I would <laughs> say I was at Ashley's house <laughs> and I would walk on over yep. or get picked up to my exes. And the reason I got caught was because I had an orthodontist appointment in the morning. And you missed it? Oh no. Patty came and got me. She said, where the fuck are you? She said, you're not at Ashley's. So where are you? Pulled up to my ex's house. I said, dang, I still got to get them tightened. Like, this isn't the time. So, yeah, she caught me because I had to go. You know, or braces yeah. cost money. I had to go to this appointment. That's crazy. She wrote, pulls up and I'm like, that oof, sucks. Oof. And then yeah. what's even worse is I go home and she pulls the, go tell your dad what you did. Ooh. I said, please, no. I, she, I go downstairs. He's like, hey. Please spare me. What's up? And, and my mom goes, guess what your daughter did? And he's like, she gets straight A's. Like, he's like excited. And I'm like, <laughs> she got her braces mm -hmm. tightened, didn't she? I'm like, I slept over my boyfriend's house. And he was like, you did what? And I was grounded for, I don't even, definitely months, multiple yeah. months. And yeah. I had everything taken away. Yep. 
Oh my god, I lived my whole life with everything taken away. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I like blacked out my whole childhood because I don't remember like what I did. Yeah. But I was always in trouble. That's always right. in trouble. Just Budosian around. I was just Budosian around. So for me, this was freshman year and I skip <laughs> so I skipped my gym class with my best friend Kevin and I went to the lunch period with all of our other friends I don't even remember like why or who but like this is I was like good like I would never do something like this because I was mm-hmm, so scared of my either. mom yeah and I was just like okay like a little freshman me and I did and I fully got caught like they aren't like I didn't call by my mom but I got caught by the teachers yeah. and they were like you're in trouble and I was like I've never been on, in trouble before. You're like, what? I'm in the I lunchroom? Said, I, I, said, oh, I still am getting used to this school. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was gym class. I might need a tour around <laughs> here again. So yeah. And then um, we got detention, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. okay. All right. Let's wet erase. Oh, okay. Question three. Yeah, I think three. Right. Um, did you play any sports? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're writing, we're writing. This is going to be a silly one. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? One, one two, two three. three. Okay. <laughs> Sad face. Mine says basketball once and <laughs> cheer. Um, I know the young men in high school say this is not a sport. <laughs> the two laps on the track were not equivalent no, to sport. No, that's me. I'm saying that. <laughs> you know I'm saying that. <laughs> it's valid. It's valid. So, no. I did basketball my freshman year. Uh, my friend Michelle made me do it. I almost threw up at the tryouts <laughs> because it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, But it ended like up bas- being... Like high school basketball? Yes. Or just... High school basketball. Um, I was just on the freshman team. I played maybe five minutes the whole season. <laughs> I played the bench. Um, I made one foul shot. Okay. The whole season. I, they said, I said, put me in. <laughs> I, and they I got did. the foul shots. You swayed. Mm-hmm. And, and you went home. Yep. And then I went and home. And you never and saw And I never saw, again. they never saw me The again. court was <laughs> not in the room with us. <laughs> it got to a point where I was scared that they were going to put me uh, in. Because yeah. I was like, no, no. not me. Same. That was I would like be me. like, oh, I'm injured. <laughs> but it actually was the most fun yeah. I have ever had. Really? Like it was so much fun. The group of girls were so funny. Wow. And we always did like little team bondings. It was so much fun. Honestly, compared to cheerleading, it was very fun. Like they were all just like very family like. Um but yeah, that's technically I did cheer for three years of high school. And then I was captain my senior year. Wow. So, like, so yeah, but basketball technically, <laughs> respectfully, mm. is the only sport I did. So cheering, I think, is a sport. Mm, I think all star <laughs> cheer for sure. All star. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know about high school. I mean, the two laps for me were a sport. That's I mean, I'm sure. But yeah. So you didn't like soccer? I'm guessing. <laughs> I hated high school soccer with every ounce of. Bedosi I had in me. <laughs> it was the worst experience of my life. We had the I'm like literally shook to hear that that existed for you mm-hmm. because mine was the opposite. The girls were fucking mean mm-hmm. and it was just like the worst experience ever. I would cry to my mom every day. Please, please don't please make me go back. Me I'm not Did She wouldn't she made you She say? would say, "Well, then you have to find something else to do." Oh. Uh. You needed an extracurricular. I needed something. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't she in the room with us either. Home no. And snacking and smoking. No. And drinking. Yeah. You're and and yeah, and I hated it. But like, I played on a like township team. Like oh, a so like. Was it at high school or not? I played both. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The township team was fine. I liked mm-hmm. that team. Yeah. High school team. No. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Coach, mean. Hello. The studio phone is blowing, blowing up. So sports were, oh no. Okay, what's next? Four? Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Did you ever get caught cheating on a test? <laughs> oh, this one's juicy. <laughs> the tea is hot. You're just doing one word and mm-hmm. then explaining? Okay. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> No, never. Mine says yes, lol. No, mine says hee hee. Oh, that's why we're the same person. You put yes, lol. I put no hee hee. 
So I said yes, LOL. <laughs> um, so this, I normally, oh, I shouldn't say never because me and my friends always cheated. I yeah. shouldn't say never. But like, I, I would try to study. But to be fair, this time that I got caught, it was Ooh. senior year. Okay. I had senioritis real bad. Yep. It was in, this is so ironic, it was in anatomy. Did not pay an ounce of attention. Probably wouldn't have failed it twice in college, (laughs) which ended up being my major if I paid attention in high school. Could not do it. Like, I was just like, respectfully, no, I'm over it. So my friend, Alex, who was actually the class president. (laughs) The tea is so hot. What what high school did you go to? Oh, should we say? Yeah. I mean, we're we're like... 85 um, I years old, to- like 10 million years out of high school. Um, I went to Williamstown High School. I graduated in 2017. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Timber Creek High School. I graduated in 2015. Rivals. Rivals. I, I don't know. I, I, I have no sports. idea. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the football games, but I don't yeah, know. I think we played happening. them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We probably should have started with where we went. Yeah. But, you know, we were just getting comfortable <laughs> with you guys. We were the lore. Yeah. It was the, the lore, lore behind Williamstown. Yeah. Okay. So, my friend Alex, who was class president, which is T is piping hot. Yeah. She's so successful now. So She's like... She's like, why are you telling this about me? <laughs> um, we're going to get so many she, <laughs> she used to make these fake recipes that like so this one specifically that i got caught cheating on was a chicken parm recipe what? and the first couple of lines would be like you know like make your batter bread your chicken like and then when you get into the recipe it would be like the humorous bone <laughs> it would say like all the answers that's wild to the test but like all my friends like, where were you getting this recipe like digitally or she, she had it printed it. yeah she, she would print it and so where would you put it i put it under my test and this is how I, I just fucked up. I was being lazy about it. I said, <laughs> she said, what's that other paper? <gasps> and I said, oh, it's just from cooking class. Because I did have cooking class here. <laughs> I said, oh, we were making chicken parm and cooking. She said, no, let me see it. And my, this teacher was an angel. Miss Alfredo, shout out. She was an angel. She had, like, she, she did not up. deserve. She did not deserve. An angel to the point where she, I didn't get in trouble. This is me. I get cocky. I'm like... I said, take it. I can ace it. I can ace it. <laughs> I'm like, Sarah. I was, was in like, front of so everyone. Embarrassed. Everyone was watching yes. and listening. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate that I was that so for you. embarrassed that I was like, I can get a 100. Take it. I don't need it. I don't need it. So she takes it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's just from cooking class. <laughs> Alf, like, it's fine. So she takes it. <laughs> you trying to play it off is so funny. I know. Funny. I, I'm so bad at I used to be so bad at that. Like, I would yeah. never admit my faults. So yeah. I would just be like, I, I wasn't even I looking at even it. No, I, I didn't even get know I had step. that. Yeah. <laughs> so she takes it and is pissed, but she literally just throws it in the trash and lets me take my test. And I got a 100. <laughs> you got a 100? <laughs> yeah. I memorized it at that point. I should have just studied the recipe oh, and took the test. Oh, my God. But... Yeah, and she did not take any points off her. She was an angel. angel. She was like, angel. let's just let her go because she's a fucking menace. Yeah. So I said no, hee hee, because I never got caught cheating. Wait, was that the question? Yeah. Okay. I never got caught cheating, but I took a, um, it was called a studies class. Have you ever heard of this? It was like study hall? No, it yeah. was like when your history class and your English class was combined and it was like a program that they did at my school and like Talented you would and get <laughs> oh, it wasn't no <laughs> there were like really really smart people in this class yeah, like mixed honors. with like me yeah. <laughs> right. okay. so i took this class and my best friend was in the class with me courtney i will talk about her a lot because she, me and her were like we still are but like we were partners in crime yeah. we were in every class together she yeah. was like a little bit smarter than me like i was bare minimum <laughs> i mean like spectacular yeah um but it was a history class and an English class that they combined. Like, did you ever have those classrooms where the wall would come down? No. Like, I, the wall would open up? I, yes. Yeah. But it, it was, like, foldable. mine were like that. Yeah. But I have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. So, we yeah. would take the wall down, and it would be a hu- it would be a double yes. class, but one class. Okay. And I forget, like, it was called American Studies First, Western Studies, and Contemporary Studies. So, okay. freshman year, you took your regular separate classes. Sophomore year, they would invite you. I don't know what credentials you needed to be invited. 
I don't even, I don't know. (laughs) I I don't know. I didn't make the cut. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't make anything but this. I don't know why. So me and Courtney were like, yep, we're going to take it. And it was American Studies sophomore year, Western Studies junior year, Contemporary Studies senior year. So we go through and um, by senior year, Contemporary Studies, like it wasn't like... I was just over. I had senioritis. I was done. I just didn't give a shit about anything. And my teacher, my history teacher, because we would have two teachers, my history teacher was the same history teacher I had back at sophomore year. So he, we like, he was like, you know, mm-hmm. we just, sorry, Mr. Garcini, but we just didn't give a fuck, honestly. <laughs> Name, dropped Name dropped him because yeah. he was great, but like we just yeah. straight up yeah. disrespected it's, his class no, in a way. And there respectfully was teachers like that. Yeah. That it was like you they were almost too cool that yeah. or just like mm-hmm. you had them so many times that you were like I can't take you seriously uh, yeah. at this point. Give me something yeah. new. So anyway, um Courtney would sit in front of me and she had long brown hair and I would literally just blatantly <laughs> take like sticky notes and stick them in her hair <laughs> and like <laughs> claw through her hair when I needed a quick answer. <laughs> That's so ridiculous that I never got <laughs> caught because like just that imagine that. Crazy. And I, Courtney definitely knew, but like I don't know if she knew till after because I don't know if she'd be able to like take that seriously. She didn't know that you put this thing Like she it. knew, but like not at the exact moment. Like I was like, I'm gonna do this. And she was like, okay. <laughs> but like she didn't feel me like, so, like you so know what you I mean? never got answers. There was just empty sticky notes. No, I put answers on there. I had written oh. answers and then I put them on her oh, hair when she was sitting down. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> but she didn't know in the moment because then like how she would have just been like, oh, what are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was hilarious. And I would be like, through her like strands of hair. That's so funny. And I'm pretty sure he like he had to have known. I just don't think he yeah, cared. Yeah, I think some teachers just don't care. Because that's crazy. If I was a teacher, I'd be like, I can't. And that's yeah. I mean, <laughs> y'all do what you gotta do. That's like, creative. You're, if you, you feel the need to put sticky notes yeah. in hair to pass. This is also also do what you gotta do. Also, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is also <laughs> the same teacher. Oh, what are we? <laughs> What are we? <laughs> but this is also the same teacher that me and Courtney didn't do our senior project. And in the middle of graduation, like rehearsals, he mm-hmm. pulled. So we also had this friend, Ryan. So it was me, Ryan and Courtney all the time. And he pulled Ryan out of graduation rehearsal because Ryan also didn't do the project. Oh, and no. like was like, you're not going to graduate unless you do this project. But didn't say one word to me and Courtney. Like just, st- just let us slide. We just never finished it and we graduated and he had to do it. I love him for that. I know, what me too. Icon. I just think he knew that we wouldn't. And he, he was like, all right, well, they like, they really might not I'm graduate. I'm going to give them the opportunity yeah. to prove themselves. But, but we wouldn't. Yeah. That's, <laughs> and that's fine. So that was fun. That's fine. Next question. Question yes. number five. Question. Um, <laughs> what, high, what high school field trip was your favorite? Okay. I just said it out loud. I think this is going to be a pretty universal answer for it, all literally. Williamstown goers. <laughs> literally. So. Did you go on a high school, like a field trip every year? With my studies class, yes. Oh, it was like with classes. It wasn't like your whole grade. No, no, no. Just oh, with classes. we did like full grade That's crazy. trips every single year. That's wild. Yeah, every single year. How many people did you have in your class? It was remember? like two full classes combined. But like how many, <laughs> like number, like your of whole like, people. like senior class. Oh, I thought you meant my contemporary class. <laughs> oh, a lot. Like a lot. A lot. And you never went on, like, a no. class trip? Wait, how many people were in your class? Like, 430? Yeah, I had a lot. No. Yeah, yeah, we did we trips went on, every year. We, I mean, yeah, we all went on, like, little mini trips. Oh, okay. All right. Unless all I right, didn't get the memo. <laughs> I'm like, am I missing out? Did my mom take that <laughs> away from me? <laughs> <laughs> I was really grounded, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Okay, I knew you were going to say yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I thought you were too, but then I yeah, found out you I guys... don't think you know about this experience for me. So I'm excited. It's a good one. So I said junior trip, and at Williamstown, your junior trip is you go to Virginia, 
for like three days i think you take what? one of those nice ass buses there you drive there so you road trip with all your friends and this nice so ass fun. bus it was so much fun started out not so good for me because my ex got kicked off the trip for being high and having <laughs> weed paraphernalia i love that word paraphernalia, paraphernalia. he had um, weed paraphernalia yep had in the bus weed paraphernalia road trip he didn't even make it to the bus he oh made it gosh. to the gym before the bus and then got whoop, drunk chest kidding? at the hospital oh my god so that part was annoying. wait they sent him to the hospital yeah, they get drug tested. They had suspicion that he was high? He definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but what made them think? He literally smoked right before and then came to the school. And I think we got there at like, let's say like 5 a.m. Yeah. to go on this road trip. And he's high as fuck and smells. So him and his friends, they smoked right before. So they smelled really bad. And then obviously their eyes, like, you know, yeah. they just yeah. looked high. And then they were like, let us search your shit. And they were like, yeah, you guys aren't going on trip. Like you're getting drug tested. But this kid was, I don't know. I don't know. A magician? I don't know. He literally passed his drug test. <laughs> smokes what? all day, every day of his life. Back Did he to, have like, fake pee? I think he used iced tea. I think his mom brought him iced tea or something. That's the lore. I don't really remember. I plucked out crazy. that part of my life a lot. But so that was annoying at first because I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would you smoke right before? I was a little crazy. But I mean, no, why would you? <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? What the But thank you because since he wasn't on there, I was just with my friends the yeah. whole time and it was so much more fun. Yeah. So you go to Virginia, we drive there. That's and so cool. the first day is like bush gardens you do roller coasters went on this roller coaster mm. passed out on this roller coaster i was trying to like my physics teacher <laughs> my physics teacher goes oh there's so much g-force on this one curve that a lot of people pass out so i'm like i'm gonna pass out <laughs> like i want to pass out on this roller coaster so me and my friend michelle go on we hit the curve i don't pass out and i'm like what the fuck and literally she said mid-sentence i'm saying like what the fuck <laughs> i pass out and i I literally like just picture me like knocked and then coming back and <laughs> screaming because I'm on a roller coaster and then knocking back out. And I wish I there was footage. Film. No, I wish there was film. That's we hilarious. talk about it all the time because she was like peeing herself. That's, I would have like, probably peed. Oh my God. Out. So fun. So we did that. We did King's Dominion, which is another like water park. Yeah. Like, yeah. amusement park. Dude, what? I feel Oh my God. Cheated. So fun. I yeah. feel cheated. They had the good trips. Experience. I'll give them that. And oh. then the last day you did like a dinner boat. Um, yeah and it was so That's fun so and it was one of those things where like the dj was good as fuck yeah. also like so good and it was one of those things where everyone's like twerking and grinding on each other <laughs> so and you're like in the moment like yeah and then you look around and every <laughs> chaperone's staring at you like i'm gonna see you in math tomorrow oh. but get it and like you like I cringe because your teachers I are watching. I hate that was like a thing. Yeah, but it was oh. so much fun. And then that sounds like yeah, a lot I was of fun. just glad it it worked out because I got to be with my friends. That's and it so, was so fun. Much fun. Yeah, mine was senior trip, and actually I have like kind of like a cute story about senior trip. Um, to some, <laughs> I know what this. <laughs> I think I know what the story is. So senior trip, obviously. So in high school, I in New, I think it's a New Jersey thing. Also, what. You went to Disney, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is oh, like yeah, I not an everywhere thing. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. yeah. So let me clarify. I yeah. did go to Disney for... Did you go to Disney? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I went to Disney for a senior trip and this had been my first time anything, like on a plane, in Aww. Disney, like anywhere. So I was so excited. I So my boyfriend at the time... God, I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> he won't. Why would he? But... So my boyfriend at the time was a grade above us, and but we had had all the same friends. Like mm -hmm. we had the same exact friend group. Um, so a lot of his best friends were in my grade who were also my best friends. So it was like all of us going to Disney and obviously he wasn't able to go. But this was when like me and Aunt, who was my current <laughs> boyfriend, like kind of, I mean, I can't speak for him, but this was when I kind of was like... Wait a damn minute. I think I like this I man. I think I like this man. <laughs> and that was really crazy for me because it just was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there later. We'll but I remember like being on a roller coaster and it was me. And at one point we were so sick of my friend, Sam. <laughs> Love you, Sam. But we were sick and tired. So me and Courtney woke up early one day and we were like, we're getting the 
get out of here. Mm-hmm. Love you. Yeah, she's still so mad at us for this day. But wait, wait <laughs> side. She's over it. <laughs> no, she's not. Side story. We went back to Disney two years ago and Sam was pulling the same shit she was pulling at Disney trip. Oh, she's like, no. this is our itinerary. And we had to do this and this. And we, we and Courtney were like, absolutely not. Yeah. So yeah, that's why she got in trouble for, from us. But yeah, so we ran away from Sam and Aunt was like down. And I guess because he liked me, obviously, at yeah. the time. But he was like, all right, whatever. So it was me, him, and Courtney, and our other friend. And it was just us four the whole entire time. We ditched everyone. And we had such a fun time. That was the first time that me and Aunt ever held hands. Because we were on a roller coaster. And he was like, I'm scared. He's scared of I roller coasters. doing that. I know. <laughs> I know. He would, we were on rock and roller coaster. Oh, I remember. That's a good one to hold hands you know? to. This is scary. And he was one. like, I'm scared because he's like a little bitch when it comes to roller coasters. <laughs> and I was like, I will hold your hand. Yeah. So that was really fun yeah. because me and Aunt were like secret. And you know, when it's like that, like, <laughs> secret- <laughs> we, were, we were like secretly in love with each other. And do you know that feeling when it's like you're in the same room and you're like, eh, but you guys yeah, don't ever talk there's... about it. And no one ever says anything. Yeah. It's like, but it's so thing. exciting. And yeah. you're just like, oh, I want Aunt to be around. Like, that's how it was. So yeah, it was really, really that's fun. That's so cute. Yeah. It was and it cute. Until I got home. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now we have a baby. Woo. She's like, I got pregnant after seeing your trip. <laughs> ah! Just kidding. Just okay. kidding. Anyway. All right, let's erase. Erase. Okay. What's number six? <sighs> number six is. Excuse me. Number six is. Did you ever get detention? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna one word it. Okay, <laughs> oh, we're, we're leaving. Did you ever get detention? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. I can, like. I can't Sorry, yeah, that does look weird. It does say yes. <laughs> okay, though. we both said yes. Yeah. Um, this was not a common occurrence for me. I got one detention in yeah. all of high school. Same. So my high school did three to sevens. This was the worst detention you can get. Like three p.m. to seven p.m. Yes. So basically, Ooh. you wouldn't go to school. You weren't allowed to go to school that day, and you had to go to school from three to seven at night. It's kind of a slay. That's what the delinquents would think, but oh. I did not enjoy it because I was surrounded by like it was like yeah. I felt like in um this is gonna be an old reference, but I felt like in Drake and Josh when Drake goes to the remedial room <laughs> and they're just like swinging across yeah. the lights yeah. and like I was scared. So um I got one three to seven because I left school in the middle of the day. This was senior year. That'll do um, it. Um I was beefing with this girl. <gasps> See, I would have been scared of you. Yeah, I but it. I was, I don't know. I didn't like always. You didn't always beef. I don't, yeah, I didn't always beef. I feel like I. You beefed when necessary. I beefed online more than in person, <laughs> I feel like. Um, so me and this girl, you know, we were fighting over a boy. Your boyfriend? Which is so stupid. Yeah, my ex. So basically, all basically. these girls would tell me that like my boyfriend was cheating my ex so he girls would like dm me all the time instagram twitter and be like i just hooked up with your ex like i just hooked up with him and i'd be like no you didn't like i would fully <laughs> i was fully bitch. not a girl's girl and mm. i wish i was you it's know okay. i regret it i am now but i just didn't believe it like i was I, regret it. I was so stuck that i would be like you're a dirty liar right? <laughs> I would literally like they're they're trying to be well sometimes they want to be nice and yeah. that's why because they would be like Haha, type yeah of thing. not like girl, I girl i'm looking you. out for you yeah it would yeah. never be like that there's a difference so um but so this one girl i don't even remember like i don't even think we were together anymore but i think it was like directly after, after. we broke up that's even that's like worse yeah yeah and then I think in the hallway, it continued. Mm. And she was in my ninth period class. So I was like, I'm not fucking going to my ninth yeah, period. Yeah, okay, so you avoided a situation. Correct. I see nothing and wrong. And she told or, <laughs> yeah, I think, or a teacher saw us fighting or she told the teacher. I don't fucking know. But basically, they were looking for me because someone had <laughs> told about this occurrence. And you're just like, I was at home. At home. I skirted out of the parking lot, um, which don't give seniors cars if we're not allowed to leave whenever we want. Yeah, that was crazy. It was, so it was giving jail. I would jail. stare out the windows. Like, I left early, video. senior year. Yeah. Oh, I did eventually after this. After this, I was like, I respectfully am not you gotta taste having the freedom. an eighth and ninth period anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm having senior option. That's what's yeah. called. And I'm leaving early. Yeah. So... I leave and they find out that I left and I had to go, you know, 
to the guidance counselor. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. However, it is. It's, it's when so I had humbling. to tell my parents, oh uh, my god, I was so embarrassed. I definitely like twisted the truth. Yeah, for sure, probably. Actually, I don't know. I think I did tell them. Yeah. But she was being like aggressive, aggressive. Like she was yeah. being scary. But I, luckily, <laughs> like my family is really close with like the guidance counselor, like the, yeah. the yeah. vice principal lady. And I obviously was never like this. Like, I was a yeah. good student. I was really always respectful to my teachers. <laughs> like, I was never like this. Yeah. So they were like, okay, like, we'll let it slide. Like, this girl had already been in three to seven, right. like, all the time. Right. I think she, like, so basically, if you get 10, you can't go to prom. You can't go on your trip. You can't. Um, so they were like, we'll just give you one. Like, for leaving, like, we have to. Like, yeah. you honestly should get more, but we'll just give you That's one. That's fine. Oh, yeah. they can give you multiple for one Oh, like, yeah. So they were like, we'll just give you one. Like, you know, like, we know this isn't you. Like, whatever. So I get one, and she's fucking in it. And I'm like, It's just, really? like, shit like that. Like, like high really? school. Like, you guys set yourself, set you guys up for failure. Yeah, like, why would you put me in this? Yeah. And it's, like, barely, like, and then it's on top of it, <laughs> like, I'm a good student. So, like, while everyone is, like, doing homework for the past four years, I'm done <laughs> my homework, like, for You're the like, night. And I'm just sitting there. You can't put your head down. You can't, oh like, gosh. close your eyes. Like, you literally have to be awake and doing That's something. Crazy. For four hours. So that was hard. Wow. Y'all know how it is in high school. Fuck you, him. Y'all, you be getting crazy with the boys. But what was yours? Did you just oh. delete yours? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, that was a long story. No, it's okay. okay. I just forgot. What was the question? <laughs> Did you ever get to... Oh, you said no. Did Wait, you ever what? get detention? You yeah. said no. No, I said yeah. You said yes? I said yes. Oh. <laughs> I got detention, but I already said why. I got detention because I slipped, skipped class. With oh. my friend Kevin, but the funny part about this was Kevin sat in front of me in detention. It was just like a normal after school, like, like first hour? late bus detention. It wasn't anything crazy. Oh, okay. It was like a, just a little yeah. mini detention, right? Because I skipped class and got caught yeah. by my teacher, who was my soccer coach. <laughs> they were like, you can't miss practice. <laughs> they were like, girl. Yeah. So yeah, um, but me and Kevin were like texting each other in the class like saying like i don't even remember no they didn't take our phones and (laughs) the next day kevin got sent back to detention for texting in detention and i was cut free (laughs) i was like dang that sucks yeah that's the literal one and only time i ever got detention i don't don't know this man no i've never seen this man before in my (laughs) life all righty next question what song or songs remind you of high school Okay. This is a good one. There's so many. There's so many, but this really hits. I think I'm going to do one. Okay. Yeah, this is honestly what I think of, I think. Me okay, too. ready? One, two, three. Wait, what'd you write? Oh, yours? Broccoli. The bangers. Mine was Miley Cyrus's Bangers album. <laughs> the whole album. The whole entire Mine album. Mine was Broccoli. <laughs> that, that's facts. That's all I hear in my that's head like when I think of high school. That's like crazy that... Wait, so you graduated? Well, we graduated different, different times. times. That's wild. So, like, when I think of high school, I think of having the pleasure of high school being during 2016 summer, which yeah. was the best summer for music, rap yeah. music specifically. And I was in Camden County. Okay, so, so you were in college. So okay. this was, like, the same time that... Um, so fuck. 2016, what year were you? You were out of I high was school? In high, I was, no, yeah. I graduated 2015. I was oh, freshman year of okay. Camden County. So I was like, that's the same year. Freshman year of Camden County reminds me of, um, call me on my cell phone. Yes. So that was your high yeah. school. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. I think um, One Dance is another good one oh, too by Drake. Funny. That was yeah. like my senior year. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. But 2016. Yeah. Oh, great year for music. Yeah. Mine yeah. was Any Bangers. Party, you'd hear Broccoli. Yeah. Anyone. Yeah. Mine was Bangers album by Miley Cyrus. I used to listen to this album all the time. Actually, junior junior year prom, my mom, it was also my birthday, and my mom surprised me and my friends with t- tickets to the so Bangers fun. tour. And we went, and it was so much so fun. fun. Yeah. So what year did that album come out? Um, 2014, because I was a junior. Wait, why do I feel like 2014 I was in like eighth grade? (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm an old lady. You're only two years older than me, though. So you were... That was when you were a junior? Yeah. I think... Okay, maybe I was a freshman. Yeah. Like early freshman. Well, yeah. Yeah, because I graduated eighth grade in 2014. Yeah. And then like 2014, 2015 was freshman year. 
Wait, what? Yeah. 2015 was your freshman year of high school? Yes. So I was graduating. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 2013. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking age. 2013. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so 2014 was, what was that? Soft. No, I think it was still my freshman. How old yeah. were you? <laughs> I think it was my freshman year still. Yeah. So I graduated when you were a freshman. No, I was a sophomore when you. Okay, when I actually graduated. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. Oh my God, math. <laughs> yeah. We're so Whew. bad at math. Okay. So yeah. That- I love when you can like think of a song and like, I know. it brings back a specific. It's memory. so funny because I texted Courtney last night because I'm like, why can't I think of anything? And she was like, um, the whole Miley the Cyrus whole concert album? we went to. Yeah, she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh, facts. In the middle of the party, bitch, get off of me. Like, that's all that comes to mind. <laughs> all right, Tay. Um, did you throw the parties or did you attend the parties? Ooh, good one. Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh my gosh, really? Yes. Okay, I said attend. Big fat attend. I would never throw. <laughs> Hannah said I was throw. A thrower. So listen, <gasps> listen to me. I Oh, we would have been friends. Oh, we would have been friends. <laughs> so my boyfriend at the time ha- like we had started dating freshman year of high school. So okay. all of high school we dated and we all had we had the same friends. So me and him would throw parties at his house all the time. Basement parties, garage parties. They were so much fun. They were so I'm much fun. Jealous. Halloween parties, like everything. But me and Courtney would also throw parties. At which your is house? Funny. No, at Courtney's house. Her parents like I would throw parties at my house when my mom wasn't home. And Did I would get know? in trouble by my neighbors. Yeah. They would, the one time my neighbors told her. See, my yeah. parents didn't even know I was going to parties. Oh my god, yeah, no, I was I, at a party. I did. I was, which every shocks weekend. me because I'm not like that now. Like I would never initiate like a, yeah. like hangout, yeah. let alone a whole party. I, I remember like going to people's graduation parties senior year, and like throwing my own party later. Like we would be all texting like after graduation party, like all right, we're going to my I house. Am shook. I know. I'm sure. And like my boyfriend's, my ex boyfriend's house. Like it was so much fun. We I threw this one specific party, a Halloween party. And wait, before I tell this story, let me check the rest of the questions because this might come up later. I definitely know this. <laughs> okay, I will tell that story. But yeah, no, I, I threw all the parties and it was really fun. Actually, I can tell you a story. And it was... <laughs> this is so funny. This is when I wish Courtney was here. Because we threw a party at Courtney's house and her mom knew. Yeah. Her mom was at home and like... I, like, she knew that we were throwing it, but, like, she was also, like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. But she knew we were going to do it anyway kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And she was definitely annoyed about it, but we did it anyway. Mm-hmm. She had a – Courtney had a pool and a deck. And Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> and Ant threw up over the deck. He was drinking fireball shots, and Ugh. he threw up over the deck, and we got in trouble. Well, no, me – the. The funniest part is, is me and Courtney did not get in trouble for this. <laughs> Sam got in trouble for this. Who was working her shift at McDonald's at the time. She did not even attend the party and she oh got blamed for all of the things that happened. She got blamed for Aunt throwing up over That's the balcony. Hysterical. And she was serving her, her <laughs> shift at McDonald's. <laughs> so yeah, no, I That's was funny. Uh, yeah. And That's it was so really funny. fun. We would throw them all the time. Yeah, I would go all the time. Yeah. Like every you weekend. Been, there you would have been yeah, there. For there sure. was a different But theme. we had like a huge friend group though. Like same it would just turn into like all of our friends and then like a few random people like you know what i mean it was like oh ours i feel like the one fun thing like too about williamstown i feel like it would be everybody like the whole grade like i feel like there were very few parties that were like exclusive like i feel like we would be like the whole grade can come and that's what was so fun about it like especially towards like senior year when Mm -hmm. we all were like just like we're graduated. Fuck well, it. Well, it's like, really funny because Sam is really, really, really smart. So she was friends with all the smart, smart people. Yeah. And me and Courtney, like I said, we were just chilling. Yeah. So we were friends with all like the like mm-hmm. not <laughs> So it would be like a fun little mixture of like really smart people. And Katie, like Katie, she was also really, really smart. So her and Sam were in all the classes together. Yeah. And me and Courtney were all in all the classes together. So that was like a really fun. Yeah. I feel like Balance. I myself personally tried to like be nice, be friends to everybody. I know a lot of people would say my friend group was clicky. Yeah. But I Oh, people hated me in Courtney. Yeah. I tried 
to be yeah. nice to everyone. But I feel like the parties <laughs> were like, but sometimes like, I feel like the only time it wasn't inclusive was my friends loved hanging out with the older boys yeah. and we would go to like older parties, yeah. which was scary. But that was the only time it wasn't scary. like my whole grade. But yeah. like when it was someone in our grade throwing it, I feel like it was everyone there it was so much fun. Yeah. Like I loved it. Yeah. That was probably my They were really part. fun. They were yeah. really fun. All right. So yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. What's next? Okay. What was the weirdest slash craziest party that you ever went to? Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like there was a lot, but I think I have one in mind. I don't really know how to describe it. Oh, I'm writing down clues. Of the story in my, so that you don't my, forget. Anyway, right, ready? One, two, three. What's your mine says Halloween 2014. Okay, mine says jeans on wall, hole in wall, big brother, ninth grade. <laughs> These are all important clues. That's a slide. I fear it was eighth grade, but we're gonna say ninth grade. We say, we um, say ninth. So I remember there was this girl's house. I think she would have parties like a lot. Yeah. Um, we went to her party. Did your school have like twerking parties? Where I mean, yeah, but like ours was fully that. Like every time, I don't know if we had. It would be basement lights out, like Nike yeah. man. I mean, that <laughs> would happen. That would happen for sure. But it's not like like my parties that I'm imagining is like basement still lights out. Everyone's drinking. We're playing like beer pong. We're like being silly. We're being yeah. crazy. Music is going. No okay. one's like twerking though. Okay. So ours were like fully like, yeah. you're there, boys are on the wall and oh, you're picking one and twerking. I hate that. But it was like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to yeah, do that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I would just <laughs> you be like, like signed a number when you walk in. <laughs> I like would be just yeah. with my friend. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. like I would that. would have that, at least but... sweet 16s. Like yeah. that was like a sweet 16. Like okay. parents would spend thousands of dollars to rent out this hall and that's what it would be. And I would be like, Ooh. okay. So for first part of this story is this girl's big brother i get there and you know when you like are like i probably shouldn't enter this house yeah. but i'm gonna, I'm gonna because anyway. i'm young yeah. and i want to drink and have fun yeah so he is this huge man respectfully he is like i think we had to pay to get in like he's like taking money like oh being like a bouncer essentially and was then, he in high school I don't know. He looked way too big to be in high school. Still. I don't know. Respectfully. Respectfully, that man was out of high school. I don't oh, know. Gosh. Um, he was really scary. And then we go in, we get past him. Um, and just at all these twerking parties, I remember a white basement wall and just <laughs> jeans all over the wall, like blue, blue That's smears funny. all over the wall. And someone was like, t- cause like some girls would like get it. Yeah. Like they were twerking. Someone put a fucking hole in the wall in this girl's basement. And That's this brother so... got like so mad. I think I'm, I'm going to be telling this out of sequence. Cause well, yeah, I don't know. It's been trauma. A long time. No, and, no, it was fun. Um, I remember like he got really mad and was like, everyone get the fuck out. Like everyone get the fuck out. And then, I, this sounds so bad, well, but it wasn't like scary. Yeah. Like I think people were, cause he was being funny about yeah. it. Like he, but he like was taking, rips his shirt off and is like, oh, everyone get out. Like, he, <laughs> like it was like funny. Like, and, but that, I mean, it was funny, but scary. It's funny yeah. now, but like, um, I don't know. I think that was probably. That's funny. I'm sure there's more crazier ones, but that's that's what comes to my head. Is yeah. just the twerking, the jeans yeah. smears on the wall, and the holes in the wall. <laughs> the jeans smears are twerking, crazy. From twerking way too hard. That's really funny. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so yours is Halloween. Um, mine was Halloween 2014. This was a party that me and my ex threw, and this was like just supposed to be a normal weekend party that we would have. And for some reason, this party like blew up mm-hmm. in like our school kind of I guess it was like mainly like my soccer like the like the Mm -hmm. soccer team I remember like someone saying something about it like on the bus and like these girls I was not even friends with and like I didn't like I quite frankly didn't even like I literally don't give a fuck now but like I literally didn't like them they were like oh you're having a party and I was like hello (laughs) yeah I literally was like "Mm." Um, but yeah, these people, they, they literally just like invited themselves and then just like people just started inviting themselves to this party. So I was Barbie, (laughs) which is crazy. I was Barbie and I, I remember being, it was at my boy, my ex's house at the time and we were in the basement and it was just everyone who I used to usually hang out with and then just random people, Mm -hmm. like random people in the basement, random people, like, like 
clusters of random, random, mm-hmm. random people that like are old, like years older, out of high school, like mm-hmm. the whole thing. And I like they were friends of the people who were on the soccer team. Like it was just getting out of control. And like I just remember me and my boyfriend at the time being like, we might have went too far. Yeah. We might have took this one a little too far. Me and Courtney were like, wrap it up. I forget mm-hmm. how it ended up getting like wrapped up, but we did eventually have to like. And that's scary too. Yeah. You don't want to be that. And there's definitely people that are like, I'm not fucking leaving. Like, yeah. And it was so weird because like that was just the first time that had happened. And I was just trying to prance around like Barbie. <laughs> I wasn't trying to deal. These I people can't. weren't even in costume. I'm I was imagine- offended. I'm like. I'm imagining you stressed as I was. Barbie had to I was tell. stressed. I was like, oh my God. I forget what Courtney was. <laughs> my ex was dressed up as fucking Ken. Like, <laughs> but like camo Ken. Oh, I don't know. It was really love camo in high school. I loved it. It was just like army. I guess like an army, not Ken. I guess like one of the army guys. <laughs> Is he Ken or not? I don't think he was Ken. I think he was the army guys. You know what I'm talking about? Like the plastic army toys oh, from Toy Story. Yes. <laughs> Wait. So were you Bo Peep? No. Oh, you didn't match. No, I did Barbie, and he, that's what he wanted okay. to do. Okay. Yeah. Sounds about. Because like Ken isn't camo, correct? <laughs> I don't think so. Me either. So like, <laughs> okay, yeah. So you just wanted him to be Ken, but he wasn't. He was like a camo Ken, I guess, where he was going with that. So he made his own Ken. I guess. All right. Yeah. Okay. I would say my other craziest story is like the first time I ever like actually got drunk and blacked out, mm-hmm. but that's a full episode. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. That was okay. me with the Swedish fish pinnacle. Oh, I, I pinnacle that. anything. I hate it though. Know. Next question. Let's see. Let's see. Did you go to prom and or prom weekend? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. I went to both. I went to four. Four proms? Yeah. Like in because, one year? Yeah, because my ex was a year above me. Oh. Not in one year, but my ex was a year above me. So right. I went to prom my sophomore year. Because it was his junior prom. So I went you to, guys did junior and senior prom? Right. Okay, we right. did too. Yeah. So I went to four. I went to both of his and both of mine. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Like, yeah. I always wanted to go to more than one. It was fun. Yeah. I think junior year. So for Williamstown, junior year is when you do like prom king and queen. So it's juniors and seniors right, right, mixed. Right. Yeah. But the juniors are the ones who Wait, are Wait, what? Winning. Yeah. You guys have juniors and seniors mixed proms? Yeah. I don't remember. I think yes. You didn't? Yeah, I think really? it's junior seat. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Ours was uh, separate. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it was just junior prom. Wait, I can't remember. I honestly don't remember. Ours was separate. Maybe it was separate, but junior year is the year that you do prom king and queen. Yeah. But maybe it was separate. Yeah. Um, Prom weekend... Hell yeah. Yeah, same. I went to all of them. I don't know so how fun. my parents let me go. I think probably by senior year, they were like, yeah, no, 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 no. me and my friends would literally get a house for a week. Yeah. A week. That's what we did And too. just not go to school. And it was Memorial Day weekend. Oh, ours, ours was Memorial Day weekend. Ours was, really was always fun. in, I think junior year was in May. Senior year was in June. Yeah. It was in June. And we would literally not go to school. Yeah. And we would trash a Wildwood house. Yep. And then those who had sports <laughs> would go back and forth to sport practice and then come back and drink. <laughs> to sport practice is we crazy. We have a prop. I don't know where it is, but we have a chair from our senior year house that we all signed. I love that. And we fucked up this house. Yeah. Like, this is why they don't rent to seniors. And Anymore. like, you, you were know, the last of, class. Well, and you know that we were like, um we are so good like we threw so many parties in there it was bad yeah but it's so fun like our like senior class when it got to my senior year our senior class did two big houses like Mm -hmm. two huge houses you either went to one or you went to the other the other house wound up getting kicked out and coming trying to get into our house it was a whole thing but yeah i went every year i went to i went down the shore every year yeah it was so much fun so much fun so much fun yeah we did like a girl's house yeah and a boy's house just like to put our stuff and then yeah i mean yeah yeah, ours was crazy i remember (laughs) so like my it was like senior trip senior prom yes and then graduation and so like if like so senior trip me and aunt were like 
Mm-hmm. And then senior prom. Did you go to prom with Aunt? No. No. I went to. I was still with my ex at the time. Okay. Yeah. And at this time, I think that my ex was starting to realize, like, yeah, he's starting to get. A ca- but like me suspicious. and Aunt still had never like talked yeah. about it at all. Like yeah. we still didn't ever speak out right. loud of it. Right. But I think my ex was also being like, uh, I'm feeling something yeah, weird here. Yeah. So like I remember seeing your prom house like down the shore Mm -hmm. it being like a weird situation where like he didn't want me around and it was just like a whole thing i feel like there's always it was a whole thing and it was yeah there were so many like i mean it would be like junior year i was from like across the prom house (laughs) junior year i was with my ex senior year i was with todd i love that yeah i wish but junior year and senior year like i i was just bash shit crazy yeah. well junior year was my birthday so that was oh, really so fun. fun like april 4th was junior yeah prom and that's it was so my birthday fun. so it was like really fun everyone came over i got super sick like oh, really? when everyone was taking pictures at my house for my birthday i was upstairs like shitting my pants oh. <laughs> no i'm like dead ass i don't know why uh-huh. yeah i hate that for and then you. i couldn't eat anything at prom but i still went down the shore and it was so much fun yeah yeah but, you yeah. can still drink no i can still drink what. yeah but yeah but no, i feel I like was crazy i was batshit crazy i feel like <laughs> like i just had so many issues that like i i just always remember like prom weekend would be the weekend that you <laughs> would always watch your boyfriends and be like don't fucking talk to her yeah. don't talk. yeah like, yeah i remember like even my friends too would be like why are you dancing next to her yeah. like i don't know that Your weekend just always clothes. brought out the worst yeah. i feel like but oh, it was it also sure really fun. it was so much fun yeah me and courtney always we just always had the best time yeah i just same. remember like falling down the steps with her <laughs> like i just remember doing the craziest thing sneaking like my friend kevin who i got detention with sneaking him over our balcony when he got kicked out like yep. it was crazy and this is why the drinking age it, is 21 literally oh my god there was so much drama that happened that weekend Mm -hmm. but i can't even get into that (laughs) (laughs) i won't even get into that but that was crazy yeah what a time all right next question what was your first job (laughs) these markers these markers aren't even working okay ready one One, two two, three three. what's yours three does uh, mine Muscle was, Maker Grill? You know that place? Yes. Nobody knows it. Are you kidding me? There's one in Washington Township. Yeah, I love it there. It's not the one in Township, though. The what one that I worked at closed. It was in Williamstown. That's Williams so Town. crazy. Yeah, so mine is Muscle That's Maker Grill. That's such a Girl. random thing to I, I know. I think my brother was friends mm. with the owner or something. Yeah. It was the worst job. Yeah. It was worse than Lowe's. It was worse not than Lowe's. Lowe's. So I think I was... I feel as though I was 16. Yeah. But I would kind of remember it being like senior year. I don't even remember, honestly. Maybe it was junior year. I don't know. Yeah. But I think I was 16 yeah. or 17. Um, yeah, sounds right. And I worked at Muscle Maker Girls in Williamstown next That's to Rush dope. Fitness, if anyone wow, you knows that gym. Slaying. Closed down. Um, and I did not enjoy it at all. And I got... They weren't nice to you? No. They weren't nice to anybody, I feel mm. like. Um, Were they, like, old? So the dad oh like mm, franchise so it's kind of like i I don't know if the dad like invests and then he has two sons the one son owns the gym and the other son owns owned muscle maker but i don't know like if the son was like the manager or the son owned it but the dad like oversaw everything god the dad was older he was so mean Mm. um my boss wasn't bad but he just like i feel like with like a lot of business owners obviously running a business is hard yeah. like they just did not know yeah what they, they were doing. they weren't ready um and i remember like i would work <laughs> so much and like cover so many people's shifts and to the point where like one sunday they were like why aren't you here and i'm like because i don't I work life. sundays no like literally they th- i was covering this girl shift so much that they thought i worked sundays and i was like i don't work sundays she just didn't show up like that's if crazy. that's what you're yeah, saying so that's how i left yeah. is that um i asked this girl because no one else would because it was new year's eve yeah and i get it but why like, the hell is muscle always, maker girl open on new year's i know eve? yeah i always covered her shifts and i was like can you cover my shift like please and she was like yeah of course like whatever covered my shift i get a text like literally it's like i think my shift was like four to ten yeah um i get a text literally at like 3 30 
and she's like I have a headache like I can't go in like oh and my God. I was like well I'm not coming yeah. like I have plans like I'm going out yeah I am um, you already said you would cover my shift right. so that's I text, on you girly right so I text my but this is how new they were at business Ooh. is I text my boss and tell him and he's like well it's your shift so like you need to come in and I said no because she said she would take it Mm -hmm. so now that's on her to find Mm -hmm. someone and they didn't see it that way they were like literally how could you not i know and they were like well no it's your shift like to begin with it's not hers it was adopted (laughs) yeah it was adopted it was like ellie like ellie (laughs) (laughs) so i was literally like well i'm not coming in like yeah i'm not so and they were like well if you don't come in you're fired i said i quit fire me (laughs) I, said, I was the me. queen of just getting up and leaving. Like yeah. I would just, I loved I love doing that. that. I love that. Gave me like a sense of freedom. Yeah. <laughs> it you gives know? us some power. Yeah. Power trip. I power like to it. be poor as fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was like, mm, then I don't care. Respectfully don't, goodbye. So, yeah. Yeah. Love. My first job was at Rita's and I worked with Courtney. Yeah, I worked with Courtney who had been working there like before me. So she kind of like knew the ropes and we would like work a shift by ourselves and it was so fun. There was one time where I was making like my little swirl and the machine just wouldn't stop (laughs) machining. And there's a picture of me and there's just ice cream everywhere. Custard. (laughs) Sorry. Actually, wait, there's this one funny story and like I fear. Like one's free water ice day. Did we miss it? (laughs) I think we missed it. I think we did too. I fear that you're not going to find this as funny as me, but honestly you might. Okay. This is a true test to see if you were friends, if you would have been friends All with right. me and Courtney in high okay. school. Let's hear it. Okay, so me and Courtney are working by ourselves at Rita's. It's a busy day, mm-hmm. I think. Actually, honestly, it might have been. A, it was a slow day. It was a slow fucking day to the point where we were in the back and we had like a screen mm-hmm. that was like a video camera of like who if someone was out the window. Okay. So it was me and Courtney working by ourselves. We're in the back, just you know, probably bullshitting about yeah. something. And we see this man walk up to the front and we were like, oh, okay. So we both went out because like mm-hmm. I would take the order or whatever. Yeah. We would, one of us would do something. Right. And it was just us three, me, Courtney, and the man. <laughs> so you didn't have like a manager. We did, but she, well, like I think Courtney was the manager. I think oh. Courtney was technically the manager. <laughs> but it was she had been working just here. you two. It wasn't always, but this specific day it was. Because okay. okay. it had to be like in the middle of the day. It was slow. Right. Like okay. we were just whatever. So... <laughs> This man comes up and like, do you, you know, when you're, we do this sometimes when we're around each other too much and we just can't stop laughing and yes. like everything is so funny. Yes. That's to the point where like the me and Courtney were, yeah, we were like at the sleep, we were at that point. Yeah. And this man comes up and he's a big man, large man, like a man who has like a protruding belly mm-hmm. and like, you just know it's hard. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? So this man, he's large and he's so nice. Like the nicest man I'm ever. Like, I hope the belly has a point to the story. It does. It does. <laughs> He's the nicest man ever. However, I'm taking his order and he has a lime green caterpillar like this, this size crawling up his stomach. Like I could, like this, he had no idea. Oh, he had no idea. That it was on him. Okay. It was just like, so it, wasn't was a, like it wasn't a pet. No, 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 no. This was no, this was not a pet. This was something out of place. Okay. And it was crawling up his stomach. And me and Courtney are trying so hard to keep it together. But for some reason, it was so so funny to us like no, i'm like funny. what would you like those, today because yeah. like you know when you don't tell someone there's something on their face and yes. then it's been too long yes. that like if and you tell funny. them it would yeah it would just be like <laughs> that's where we were we were like well we can't tell them now yes, yeah. and we I, she still to this day has a caterpillar emoji next to her name because it was like <laughs> ridiculous like we no, literally so peed funny. our pants <laughs> and he i don't know he still to this day doesn't know about his caterpillar, his caterpillar. or know that he has any it's living in him now literally yeah. he has no idea that that interaction changed me and courtney's friendship forever yeah. because we see a caterpillar we see green yeah. and we die laughing because we just remember <laughs> that moment no, that's just one of those, like, you had to be there. Yeah, no, you had to I, I would have died laughing. I was yeah. dead. I was dead. When he walked away, it was unbelievable. <laughs> what, you, what was happening in that readers was unbelievable after that man walked away. <laughs> Next question. We're almost done. Um, did, you, did you bring or did you buy lunch? Hmm. I just know what Sarah's is. She doesn't even have to flip that expo board. Ready? <laughs> one, one, two, three. Right. Yep. Mine's bring. I bought. Uh-huh. But I will say this lightly. 
I did both <laughs> at the same time. She's had the same hand. I no, literally, like I would always bring lunch. My mom always packed us lunch. See, I love that. But then I'd get to school and I'd see the Bosco stits looking at me funny, right. and you'd be like, and I'm like, well, I'm having two lunches yes, now. Yeah, respectfully, I would just. Well, I'm I would throw in my ham sandwich in the trash, yeah. and I'm getting Bosco sticks. Yes. I would like. I would honestly just like do neither, but like you because I would no because I would always forget like my lunch money. I would always forget Dude, everything. I, would I was be deathly. Starving I would. In I would be. It was a miserable time. Like a different. I, I would see like my ex like in school, and I would be like, "Oh my god, do you have a dollar? I need a fucking bag of chips." And he would be like, <laughs> "The baked lays, the baked fuck, the barbecue baked lays." Yes, yeah. I need them. So yeah, I would just do like little snacks. I would just snack away. But yeah, no, I would always forget my lunch. Oh no, I, was, I would always just so like. Williamstown had this thing called kicking chicken. Rip. We kick had and chicken. um, fuck, I can't think of what it was called, but we had something similar yeah it was like an iconic lunch yeah it was so fucking good yeah it was literally like a crispy chicken tender mm-hmm. on um a like a roll yeah yes with cheese like mozzarella cheese yeah. but then like this like buffalo yeah spicy sauce yeah oh my gosh so i think it good. was the same thing we i don't think we had cheese it was called something too but i can't yeah. remember but if it was kicking chicken day or if it was bosco stick day mm-hmm. or if it was um there was like nacho day. Oh, you best believe so my brought lunch yeah. is going in the trash. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't even like, I think there was <laughs> days like where I would charge it. Like we, I put my, do you remember your lunch number? No. Uh, mine was one, three, seven, two, nine. I would never remember. I, I don't remember even, it. I no. Um, and I would put my number in and I'd be like, just try it. I got you tomorrow. <laughs> no, I would do that too, but it would be genuinely because I would forget my freaking lunch. Yeah. I remember in elementary school, like doing that. Yeah. Mine but was like, cause I was greedy and I wanted two <laughs> lunches. They're like, D- you brought lunch. They're like, you know, know you brought. I would always forget, and then I would always be like, I need a chip. Yeah. And, we would, and then at home, I would just soft pig pretzel. out when I got home. Oh my, God, soft me pretzel. Too. Oh my yeah. God, yeah. No, in high school, I, w- I think it's like the hormone different. Wait, hormone. did you guys have the chocolate? Did did people like walk cookies? around selling chocolate bars? Like the Gertrude Hawk mm. chocolate bars? No. What? And we well, would have like, um, sometimes like the sports teams would sell like Krispy Kremes or like pizza. Oh, wow for like a dollar yeah but um well that was the last question but the yeah last, we last just question. have like a little thing let's show your graduation picture <laughs> so wait are you showing it on your phone or are you yeah. putting it oh wait my phone's recording wait you can just put it in the clip can't you like if i send you a screenshot oh, yeah. can you just add it yeah okay so i'm gonna add those right here yes, here's us our Is- graduation pictures <laughs> Um, so slay yeah. so hope you guys enjoyed this episode yeah this um, was fun it was fun this was really fun it's fun to like reminisce on yeah all the you guys enjoy you guys enjoyed. thanks for listening and watching we love we're you. gonna flip back and forth to like yeah. fun silly content like this and then um just like serious yeah or not serious we just can't like be serious work. yeah just work related be so for real. industry related yeah um but so, let yeah. us know what you guys want any games that you guys watch yes. Yeah, just let us know. Let us know. Whatever you want, we'll do. We'll do anything yeah. for you guys. Yes, subscribe. Like. Follow us on Spotify. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Comment. Comment. Comment down below. YouTube. YouTube. So. Stream. Stream. Save. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, love you.